Welcome back to another video and I am so happy to finally be bringing art content back to the channel. It has been a while and we're going to start things off with a simple little starter base tutorial. My OG subscribers may remember some of these videos from back in the day and I do plan on making so much content for this game. So if you want to support the channel you absolutely can by hitting that subscribe button and also showing the like button some love. Now I can't begin to tell you how pumped I am for the content coming your way. We've got starship builds in Starfield base builds and more in ARC, as well as content from other games in the works. Honestly, it's an exciting time to be part of the channel and also our Discord server, you should join. So these are the materials that you'll need for this base build. So pause the video now if you just want to jot them down or take a screenshot. Also, I'll be giving you an interior tour once the build's done. So let's get into the build. So we're going to be doing our build right here. It's a nice part of the map, nice and safe, and it's got access to a lot of things. And this can be found right here. So let's get started. Tell you what, Ark Ascended is beautiful. This is not. Whoa, hello, hello. Where do you come from? You better walk away. I'm trying to do a build here, man. Right, so you're going to grab some wooden foundations and you're going to build a box that is four wide and four long. And then you need to decide which side is going to be your entrance and then add two more wooden foundations to that side. And that's where we're going to put some windows and stuff. I can't get over how like beautiful this game looks though. I know it's a, you know not running the best at the moment, trust me. So this is where my windows are going to be, so just plonk two there and lovely jubbly. Now you can add like a, a bit of decking if you want next to the, the door, so you can put three down, three foundations, but I'm not doing that. And then obviously you want to chuck a door in and some wooden walls. Now the thing that you can do here is you can add extra windows um, and even a door leading to a dinosaur pen. I'm not building a dinosaur pen for this one but that is coming soon. So yeah, just it's up to you what you want to do here. But I'm only going to have between two and four windows. I'm not going to go too crazy. So there's my two there. And we'll put two here. Lovely jubbly. Right, I can hear a tussle going on out here. What's going on? Ah, oh, it's an iguanodon just mauling something. I can't see what it is. Probably a dillo. I don't know. As you were, mate. As you were. Right, now we want to build our wood sloped wall. So we're going to put four either side of the uh, the main building and we're only going to add two to the little part where the windows are and you can do some cool tricks with these like for interior design which i'm going to show you shortly again if you want some windows up here you absolutely can completely all cool Pump that there now this is what you can do so it will snap in into the wood i don't remember it doing this on the original arc survival evolved i could be wrong you probably could it's just i can't remember it but i, I was doing it and i was like that looks so cool so Gives you a couple of options to add a bit of variety to the inside of your base. Right, now we're going to add the thatch roof. We're going for thatch roof because this is a beginner base. You know, it's a nice starter base and I do like the thatch roof. And I think it just complements the uh, the wooden structure um, when you're building like a wooden hut base. I love it. I think too much wood. So, you know, wooden, uh, wooden sloped uh, roofs and a wooden base just doesn't look that good. So I think you need to add a bit of variety to it. But yeah, looking good so far. So now we can add two more slopes up here. And that's that done. Add two more slope roofs and then finish it off with two thatched roofs. And that is pretty much the shape done. Looking good so far. Nice and big on the inside. Love it. Right, so add thatched stairs to the door. Obviously your choice of stairs, whatever you want to use. I just like the thatched stairs. But there we go, look. It's looking nice, isn't it? Love it. Good little starter base. Right, now it's time for wooden pillars. Now, this is purely for aesthetics. You can do it vertical or horizontal. I'm going to do both. I'm going to go around the entire building doing this because I think it just looks really good. And it just adds a bit of extra flair to the base. So that's what we're going to do. Again, you're cool here. You don't have to have too much. Obviously, don't put it in, in your doorway because uh, it will just make it awkward trying to get in. But yeah, we're going to go around all the base doing this. And it just, yeah, it's a bit of flair. So tell me guys, have you all been playing Ark? How's it been for you? It's been a bit of a bumpy start for me, not going to lie, because I'm, my FPS is fine, it's the crashes. I seem to get crashes all the time, like I could be in the build menu, come out of it, crash, uh, try and tame a dinosaur, crash, placing something down, crash, it's not been good. I'm not slating wildcard, but you know, I was, I, was ex I was expecting it to be okay, not this bad. Obviously, it's it's working now. It's not it's not too bad, but uh, and I'd be lying if I if I uh, said to you that I wasn't expecting a bit of a bumpy launch, like 
But this really rustled my jimmies, not gonna lie. So I was expecting it to be not great, but this is a, uh, yeah, bit extra. And it's a uh, bit of a shame that the console users are being delayed now as well. Like there's just so many delays with this game. But anyways, we're playing it. The base is looking good. I'm happy. I am happy to be playing it. You know, I'm not uh, ungrateful at all. Crashes or no crashes, I'd rather still have access to the game, you know, even for the five minutes that I'm able to get on it. But yeah, loving it so far. And that is uh, the shape done. Look how good it looks. All right, so on the inside, we're going to add two more wood sloped roofs just to finish off this part so it looks nice and tidy. And then we're going to add some more wooden pillars as well just to complete the inside a bit. So we'll put it in the center and put a couple more around. Again, all preference for you guys. Looking good, look at that. So much room for activities in this build. Love it. It's small yet big. Right, so now we're gonna add the thatch door and the thatch windows just to uh, finish off those and then we'll open them. This, you know, let some fresh air in. Get that, get that dinosaur jungle air on the go. Lovely, look at that. Mm. Fresh air, love it. But yeah, the base is looking good now, isn't it? Proud of this. Right, so now we're going to build a sleeping area. Now, one thing I used to do in Survival Evolved is I always use the thatch roof at the top, in my starter bases at least. Uh, thatch roof because it looks like it's like carpet and stuff and it will keep you warm. And uh, I always build it one layer up. I like being elevated in my sleeping area in starter bases just in case like a T-Rex comes smashing in or anything like that. Not that that's going to save you, but you know, it just makes you feel a little bit safer being a bit higher up. But this is literally what I've done in Survival Evolved every time. This is like my default layout. So we'll add a couple more um, wooden pillars just to finish off the shape and add another one there as well. And that's it done. So thatch stairs, thatch roof, wooden pillars. Lovely. Looking good, isn't it? Like this. Nice and, uh, nice and cozy. What do you guys think? Do you think it's looking all right? So I'm no interior designer, but I feel like I've done a good job with the inside of this base. Barred the fireplace, that's not really a starter item, but it felt like it needed to be in there. So I think I've done an all right job. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think. It's a nice little starter base though, and it'll keep you going. The only thing it needs really is a dinosaur pen, but I've opted not to build that for this video. That is going to be coming in another video, so stay tuned. But yeah, lots of storage, lots of room for activities. It is a small base, but it also is quite big on the inside. So, so you've definitely got a lot of room to add your own flair to this base. And like I said, it will keep you going for a starter base until you work your way up to stone and then obviously tech bases. But all that will come in the future. So I'll just give you a nice little interior tour right now. And uh, we'll go in the house and have a little look-see. So like I said, it is a small base but it's also quite big on the inside and I've tried to make it look quite comfy. So thatch roof on, well thatch, yeah, it is thatch roof, but putting it on the floor next to the uh, the cooking pot just to look like a rug, basically a little sleeping bag, you know, to get cozy next to the fire when it's cold. Lots of storage. You've got your crafting bits right here. You've got more storage, more storage there. And then upstairs, we've got our bed and more storage. There's definitely a lot more that could be added to this base, but I wanted to keep it quite simple. Bar the fireplace. I probably shouldn't have put the fireplace in, but it is what it is. I like it. I think it's good. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think and if you're going to be building it. And don't worry, I've got tons more bases coming. You know, stone bases, aesthetic bases like watchtowers, all sorts. So the best way to stay tuned is to subscribe. And also don't forget to like the video. But like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.